What's the big deal about nanotechnology? Could it lead to a cure for cancer? How about making cheaper and cleaner energy? Or even shirts that don't stain? It's all about being itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, super duper small. Nanotechnology uses particles that are nanometers across, the size of atoms and molecules. A meter is made up of a billion nanometers. Imagine comparing this meter stick to a super tiny nanometer is like comparing the width of the entire Earth to the width of this marble. Your fingernails grow one nanometer every second. At the nanoscale, some materials, like gold, stop acting normal and start exhibiting unexpected properties. Stop acting stop normal, acting normal and start exhibiting unexpected properties. Unexpected properties. Unexpected properties. If you cut a gold brick in half, both halves still look gold and shiny. Cut smaller and smaller, it still looks gold and shiny. That is, until you get small enough to be at the nanoscale. What's weird is that particles of gold 50 nanometers across, like the ones in this liquid, look green. Even smaller particles look red. That's because at the nanoscale, even small changes in size can lead to unexpected properties. And color isn't the only way that things act weird. All kinds of physical and chemical properties can change at the nanoscale. So why should you care? Doctors are working on ways to use nanoparticles to target and kill cancer cells without the horrible side effects of chemotherapy or radiation. By working on the nanoscale, scientists are making solar power and other kinds of renewable energy way more efficient and cheaper. Nano-based water filtration systems could provide fresh, clean water to billions of people. Hello? That could help control waterborne diseases in developing countries. What is it with you? All you talk about is science. Other applications of nanotechnology could make our lives easier. For example, stain-proof clothing with tiny nanoscale fibers that prevent liquids from sticking. ¿Sabes qué? Suficiente. Me voy. But with the great potential of nanotechnology, there also comes great risks. Nanoparticles are not necessarily harmless. For example, ingesting massive quantities of silver nanoparticles can permanently turn your skin blue. <laughs> Scientists are working to figure out what harmful effects nanoparticles might have on our bodies, other living creatures, and the environment. So where will nanotechnology lead? No one knows for sure. But big changes are coming from the tiny world of nanotechnology.